did you guys know that racism is bad? Someone apparently needs to remind the WGA because they have a very high script submission standard. And by high, I mean a remarkably racist one. Look, unless I'm reading U.S. legal code wrong, specifically Title VII of the United States Civil Rights Act of 1964, this that I am showing on screen is illegal. You know, when I hear the word diverse, I think... No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. Because the truth is that diversity means less white, less male, less heteronormative, lesser in every way. And that is the common theme with any industry that succumbs to DEI initiatives. They become lesser. And Hollywood is no exception, because believe it or not, excluding vast swaths of the population tends to curve creativity and quality. This article is from Film Threat, and I will link it down below in the pinned comment. Naturally, you should do your own research, and I would encourage you to take a moment to read this yourself, as I personally found it very illuminating, and it confirms what I've suspected for a while with regard to modern Hollywood writers. This BS was pretty obvious when we went from this... I am Loki, of Asgard, and I am burdened with glorious purpose. Loki, brother of Thor. We have no quarrel with your people. An ant has no quarrel with a boot. Are you planning to step on us? To this. Ah! Uh -oh. Monica, you gotta fly. No, no, no. Uh... Black girl magic. And this. Triggers are anger and fear. Those are like the baseline of any woman just existing. All right then, let's... Which is bad for the audience, sure, but we have old stuff we can go back and watch. We have foreign films and TV shows largely unafflicted by the stupidity of modern Hollywood. Thus, this leaves Hollywood as the biggest victim of its own stupidity. Superheroes have been killed off by the mixture of crappy stories, market saturation, and constant insertion of wokery into everything. Which leaves Hollywood without any franchises capable of generating cash flow. And without the talented people to create new ones, as I doubt these destructive policies will be going anywhere soon, well, they're firmly up shit creek without a paddle. But tell me what you think down below, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Pete, the Radical Nerd, signing off.